Harbor Freight's made me a liar. I told you guys that 129 bucks would be the best deal all year for the titanium 125. And they've got it on sale today for 99 bucks. Cheap enough, I gotta go buy another one. Power and portability are really what make this my go-to welder. To go along with ease of portability, this is a 120 volt machine only. So you can plug it into a bigger size generator, your garage, or a 10 gauge extension cord. Yes, the thickness of extension cords does make a big difference. Just make sure it's on a 20 amp breaker. Max thickness of 3 16 And that is totally doable. Done, one pass, you're good, 3 16 and I've even done a video where I bumped it up two quarter inch and I even did half inch thick still. Whew, I know, half inch, I had to do a bucket load of passes and so it's, it's something that I, I wouldn't be doing, I mean, more than just, anyway, I'm not even gonna tell you what projects to do that on. Now, the one thing I do wanna know where I think people get hung up on, maybe with material, is I saw so many comments on, hey, can it do, you know, two inch square tubing, or I think this is maybe a two by three rectangular tubing. And the machine can care less what the shape of the material it is. All it cares about is how thick the material is. You just gotta make sure that the thickness itself is less than 3 16 and then you're golden. And if you're like me, then I never find the exact shape needed. For example, this one inch square tubing, which needed to go to this one inch round tubing. You can make it work. You just are gonna be practicing filling some gaps. Another example, which is this 3 16 inch bearing plate. I needed to go down to the frame of that round tubing. Still no issues, turned out great. And the settings I used for this were about E and six. Oh, and then the min says 18 gauge. Um, I think I did once 20 gauge, um, just to show that it can kind of go thinner. And it did do that, but you're gonna be doing some stitch welding uh, just so then you're not totally blown through. Can be done. Aluminum is a completely different animal. And as far as the simplicity for this machine, we don't have gas hookups. You can't change the polarity. That's what's great is this is somewhat of a plug and play type machine. You don't have to worry about all those extra features or processes. We're just sticking with simple flux core welding. Okay, now since you brought it up, you do need to buy wire. Not this stuff, this is solid core wire, the shiny copper looking stuff. It's for MIG welding. Just talking about it. We can't MIG with this machine. You want to pick up the gasless flux cord wire, uh, inner shield wire, it goes by many names. All you need to know is it's kind of not the shiny copper looking stuff. It's the more expensive wire, but you don't need gas. Oh, and as far as the size, pick up 0 0.030 and that will get you through, I would say almost any of the projects you'd have to do with this machine. You can do stainless steel though. You can actually do even a stainless to steel combo. Most people don't know, but yes, you can actually weld those two metals together. Just, you're gonna run into corrosive type issues, but we're not doing a submarine here. So just know if you got some really crazy odd job that you gotta mix those two metals, it can be done. One of the biggest benefits to having a flux core only machine is to be able to do outside work. And so uh, being outside in the wind, flux core does not matter because you don't have gas that's blown all around. So little trailer fixes like this, super easy. I was just had to put on a very simple, just the chain back onto the railing. I've actually done a couple reviews and unboxings, so I will link one in the description of my most recent one, which will actually go through the setup of the machine. What the flux is that blue gel that you always are dipping the nozzle in? Well, flux core is a very dirty process until you get a lot of uh, spatter and dust that will collect on the contact tip. It clogged it, and then you can't feed wire through it. Not the best when you want to weld with the machine. So all you do is you just put that on there every once in a while and then you just, all that spatter just brushes right away. It's a tip saver. 
Here are a couple little changes that if they did really could take this machine over the moon. First would be the gun or the nozzle, the stinger, the trigger, whatever you want to call it, this piece. First of all, I've had all of the other titaniums and this is the only one with this crummy little style MIG gun. Uh, this is the same one as on the Chicago Electric 125. So, titanium, you already have a line of great titanium welders. Why not put the other gun uh, that you have on those on this one? To go along with that would be the ground clamp. This is the cheapest like 10 cent piece of stamp steel. Now, even though if you get a good ground connection, I haven't really had an issue. I'm just saying you already have it with the other titanium. So just make it the same as those. And the other complaint would be uh, not having a little handle. I actually still keep this in the box. That's why it looks so freaking brand new. Problem is I take it in and out of the box by lifting. It's gonna do it. I lift it up by the hood. I know I shouldn't, but I hate the little strap that it comes with. My suggestion, put a little handle right here with a better, you know, little clamp so then it doesn't obviously do what it just did by holding the handle. After five years and only having those couple complaints, pretty good machine. I call these infinite control. I know there's some probably special potentiometer name for it. Regardless, they are not steps. So you can go in between the numbers if you want. It's not a simple one, two, three, four. And that just allows you to really dial in the settings for specific materials, thicknesses, and shapes. Okay, now some will knock the 90 day warranty. And I say, Harbor Freight really has one of the best hassle-free type warranties. If there is any issue whatsoever, which I really believe if you did get a lemon, it would show us signs of it within 90 days. So it's you just take it in and they exchange it, no questions asked. So that end of it, yeah, it's not as long as some of the others, but it really is a hassle-free warranty that they offer. If your project is steel and less than 3 16th inch thickness, this machine can handle it. Like, subscribe. We'll see you next time.